Today, I shall simply address all of you as friend and family. Thank you all for coming. For those of you that know me, I'm not a man of many words. And so I shall do, and so I shall try to keep this brief. On the morning of Sunday, 10th June 2012, my father, the professor, George Saitoti, was tragically taken from us, from me. On that day, I lost my rock, my Goliath, my dad. As his son, my father gave me more than I could ever dream of, more than I could ever want. He gave me his everything, he gave me his love. The professor, my father, was a man of such wonder that he gave the same that he gave to me to not only his family, but to thousands, if not millions, of other people around the world. He was a man of great determination, tremendous fortitude, and immense courage. Amongst these qualities, he was positively headstrong. He was a positively headstrong individual, a trait brought about by a necessity to exceed himself, a want to make the people and the world around him a bet a trait brought about by necessity of wanting to exceed himself, I want to make the people in the world around him better than himself, stronger and more prosperous. He had a tendency to try and drive others to achieve beyond the best of their abilities. It is for this that I would like to thank him for making me that I'm the man that I am today. My father loved his country and the people of Kenya with every possible fiber of his body. In his illustrious career as a politician, he poured his heart and soul into strengthening our great nation and securing its future as a land of tremendous opportunity and prosperity. One, one only has to look at his efforts, for example, as Minister of Education, his role as Vice President, and even as the Minister of Internal Security. I am proud of my father, proud of the man, of the legend, of my hero. I firmly believe that if each one of us tries, even for just one minute of the day, tries to live our lives the same way that he did his entire life, as individuals, our lives would be enriched and fulfilled beyond our imagination. But even more so, as a nation, our dream of greatness, peace, and prosperity will be realized sooner than we think. Dad, I love you. I thank you, and I promise I will not let you down. Know the family. You are our backbone, our strength, our father, our brother, our uncle, our everything. May the way you lived your life guide us, empower us, and bring us all close together. Until we meet again, your son, Zachary. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Zaki. Professor Soitoti, in the last few years, the last few months, was handling a docket that I'm fairly familiar with in terms of the reforms in the security sector, in terms of the reforms in the police, in terms of the reforms in the whole of that sector, a sector that is very critical for the forward movement of this country. And it will do us a great deal if we concluded those reforms in those sectors long before the elections so that his dream of a peaceful election be held. And he was a family man. And to the family of Professor Saitoti, we say we share with you your grief, but surely also your pride in the life of George Saitoti. On behalf of the representatives of the people, and on behalf of a grateful nation, we share with you in saying farewell to our colleague. Thank you very much. As a man who recognized and loved those who excelled. I remember one time we were sent by His Excellency President Moy to, nine, uh, to seven countries in Europe when I was Minister for Industry. Then our country was in short supply of foreign currency. We were invaded by refugees from Somalia as it was collapsing at that time, and a drought to boot. And we, His Excellency Vice President Saitoti, myself as Minister for Industry, and a host of civil servants led by Dr. Sale Kosige, had to make that very fast trip to seven countries in 10 days. I remember, in spite of all that, 
when we landed in Paris that evening, he said, in honor of all thinkers, let's go and have coffee at Café de la Paix. That was the home of the thinkers of many centuries ago. It didn't occur to me that uh, with his business schedule and his and his his position in society as vice president that he would ask us to go and have coffee have coffee in a very public old cafeteria that was really said to the following day we a thing that happened we miss we are going to miss a plane we were misbooked instead of us being booked to, to Bonn we were booked to, to Frankfurt and on landing we had only five minutes to move to the next plane which was two kilometers away His Excellency the Vice President of the Republic of Kenya ran faster than all of us <laughs> And testimony, this is quite true. He ran faster than all of us. I was younger than him. But he even ran faster than Do Dr. Sally Kosige, who is a nandi. <laughs> and all this, all this he did because he didn't want to lose one moment in service to his country, service to the Kenyan people. But again, just to make sure that all the mourners here do not believe that Professor Saitoti was only duty and he was only academic, he was human. That day, when we arrived again in Bonn, he took us to an orchestra. I didn't know what it was. I saw them clap had some music that I couldn't make tailor. <laughs> but there he was, he enjoyed it. You can see in his face, he was a cultured man, unlike me. And then finally, then finally he did something remarkable. We went to Vienna, and in recognition, of the respect he has for the minorities here in Kenya and worldwide, he took us to a gypsy wedding in Vienna. That was him reaching out to the disadvantaged. He was a human being. He was my friend. But let just me finish this. And Vice President, I beg of you, I have been out of circulation for a long time. <laughs> and my friend is God, and I'm not likely, I'm not likely to have an opportunity to say, to say this of George. He was also very trusty. As I was Minister for Industry and him Minister for Finance and Vice President, and we were again in that trip, we were asked a very interesting question by a lady from the BBC, but she is from, she was, or still is from Tanzania. And he had been giving all the speeches. He trusted me to a very difficult question an economic question and I was, tra I was trained as a lawyer and the question to me was now that you guys Kenyans are liberalizing your foreign exchange aren't these guys going to take all the foreign money in your banks and you guys will be left without any foreign money and he looked at me and said answer minister 
And then I said, yeah, watashukua. It was in Kiswahili. Watashukua ingine, lakini ingine itakuja pia. <laughs> and you know, later he told me that was a good answer. <laughs> Thank you. Bless George. See you. Thank you very much. He's one of the very few ministers whom I could trust then. And even when we came to work together in the government after the NAC Rainbow Revolution, we worked very well. I knew him as a man of great composure, a humble man. In spite, in spite of his standing in society, he could relate to everyone. When I left government, he is one of the very few ministers I could trust and one whom I could relate with. I'm here to mourn a friend and to say that the greatest tribute we could pay to him is ensuring that we have a peaceful election this year. That was his passion. That, those were his last words to us during the peace meeting in Mombasa. George, you played your part, you made your mark, rest in peace. To his wife and family, may the Almighty comfort you and give you strength to carry on. Thank you. George Saitoti, because he took the business of security in our country very seriously, he assured me that within two weeks, he would find time to go to the Kisi Borabu border to deal with the matters of security there. It is really unfortunate that on the Monday that he was supposed to go for that mission, he passed on on the Sunday. To the security team that worked with him, that is a job that must be done. When I left his office, um, after I had consulted with him on that issue, I later regretted that there was one question I hadn't asked him. Having been a great academician and a mathematician for that matter. Because while in Yamira, one person asked, one plus one. And uh, somebody in the crowd responded and said, one plus one is 11. <laughs> and um, many a times in politics, one plus one is not necessarily two. And maybe George Saitoti, that is the regret I have, I would have asked him, being a mathematician, whether it is possible one plus one to be 11. But anyhow, George Saitoti did tremendous good for our country. Going forward into the next general election and as a tribute to a great Kenyan leader, the words he mentioned in my presence in Kasarani, there comes a time when the country comes before any one of us. I think going into this election, those words of George Saitoti must guide us so that the interest, the passion of any one of us must not supersede the interest of our nation. Sir George Saitoti, including being an academician, great scholar, of great intellect, a peacemaker, but I think there is something very, very basic which he had as a personal attribute, and I think can make all of us, all of us Kenyans, behave and be like Professor George Saitoti. I mean, that is just good manners. I mean, just having good manners, because manners maketh man. And Professor Saitoti, 
was one of these persons who would not suffer fools. If you went to him with a political gossip, and I must say that uh, politicians, normally the business of politics is gossip. But George, I will tell you, and I will tell you in Swahili, he felt very uncomfortable when you engage in political gossip. So, Your Excellency, I want to plead with us politicians that let us just have good manners, and Kenya will be the better. Sikuile tukua tunawanda kuunda LDP tukaitana na wale wengine wenze tukutoka hapa na pali. Tukasumumuza haa atisahiri tutakuenda kuunda hii unda hii chamachetu tukubaliani atinani ambayo tisi tutapeleka mbele. Kila moja alikuwa nasema haa hii utuwache kwanza. Tutarudi kukulewana. Bada wiki mbili. Lakini tulipaenda kule nene kiwanjani huko Huru Park nikaangalia umati umati nataka tutaje <laughs> Mimi nikasema ya nini nikaamka nikasema sa ile ambaye cha charity alikuwa anasema sasa tuende ile kwenda vuta yeye ngambo hii na mimi namruta ngambo hii <laughs> Nikaenda pale nikasema kivaki tosha Lakini haya maneno hai kufuraisha kila mtu. Padahe, tukaenda kuketi manake zi tulikuwa na LDP. Na George Saitoti na mdugu yangu uh, uh, makamu wa rais. Wakaniambia ulisema haji, kwa nini ulisema haya maneno? Wanaweka <laughs> zizi. Wanaweka zizi. Kwa maneno ambayo tulikuwa tuja kubaliana, mii ni kasema hii maneno tulikuja tu mwanaki. <laughs> Wakati yake, ilikuwa imewadia. So kasumuza mpaka badaye kasituli kasema nafikiri hii ni mzuri. Na tukai sasa tukubaliana na tukaenda, tukandikana mpaka tukandika emu hiu. Alafu tukaenda and tukapita. Na wahali wengine yote sasa ni historia. Ata hii mahabari ingine tumekuja na tulikuwa nafanya na saitoti mzuri zaidi. Pale katika security docket. Ningumu. Kuangalia vikumfano wakati tumepeleka majeshi yetu kule Somalia. Sasa mashababu wanakuja wanavamia sisi hapa. Unapiga watu yetu. Kila siku, bombi melipuka pale, watu mepata majiraha, saiti watu hiku wapi. Kila mara mina mpigia simu, mamba haya, anakuja na niarifu, hiku na mna hii, hiku na mna hii, hiku na hii. Sasa mina sema saiti watu ya likuwa ni mstarabu. Mwana yake ya likuwa meja kuwa makamu rais wa taifa hii. Wakati kina raila walikuwa kwa upizani. Lakini sasa mekuja, Raila ndi waziri mkuu na saitoto hiku hapo. Na nipati mimi heshima ya kutosha. Tunafaya nae kazi mzuri kabisi. Mambo ya usalama. Kila male tukua tunashauriana, tunakubaliana. Ata hii mambo ya MRC, evi kundi vingine, mungiki, yote. Na ngini kuenda kamukono yake. Na likuwa nafanya mzuri kama lendo wa Kenya. Kwa hivyo tumepoteza mtu ambaye unaweza kusema ni mjasiri tena mzalendo. Ni mzuri, manake ni masikia kama raifu mstafu wa mesema, ati hili jiwe ambaye maashi walisahau wale 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 huni, ni mekuja kwa mzuri. Sasa, ata ye juzi ya lesema ati ya naunga mkona, alikuwa naunga mkona saitoti. Manake, wakati ngini alikuwa hawa kulewa, lakini sasa lelewa, Atisaitoti alikuwa muta mbae alisahili kukua kiongozi wa nchi yetu. Why don't we say in one word, we will follow George. We will follow George.
judge and let us be seen by yourselves, by ourselves, by the rest of Kenyans following what George has been doing. Now, since we are saying the same words, all of us here, and we heard you say it's the same words the other time when we had a, something in the front or in, in a church, when we were saying Kwaheri to our other good friend, and we are going to bury him tomorrow, why don't we say that we shall follow these two gentlemen on the things they have wanted to do and that we shall not be seen to be going different ways. That's the request I'm putting to you because that honestly, all, all these Kenyans who are here, that is truly what they would like to hear, that you will follow. I'm sure that is what they would like to hear, that you will follow these words you have been speaking here, because you have all been saying the same thing. <laughs> so if genuinely we are serious, then why don't we follow those words? Why? No reason. So let us follow the words George spoke, and he died believing it, and we will be able to make those words part of the life in Kenya, because that is what will help create the spirit we want in Kenya. And I'm quite sure that that is what we shall live to be very grateful for when we, if we can live to those words. Above all, if you do remember, even the words he spoke to us, I remember very well the other day, we were in Mombasa. Many of you were there, and you can remember and you can tell those who were not there the words George spoke. He spoke to us in the seminar which we have attended. And we, if we all would follow those words, I'm quite sure we would find the genuine solution to the problem facing Kenya. And I'm sure that is what we are called upon to do. And that is exactly what we are called upon to do. So ladies and gentlemen, let us see whether we can follow a little bit of what we have said and what we have repeated here. Very good, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, you will have called, be called upon to remember these good people who belong to George, but they will be very lonely when we have all gone, wherever we have gone, and they are left at home. Please, let us all make a point of remembering them during tomorrow, the day after and keep, keep saying good words. And let us, in any case, re rem remind them of George. They will also want to remember him, and I, I'm sure we would be very, very correct if we can follow up, up that way. It would be the best thing that we can do. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. Asante sana.
Yes. Wow. 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 Wow.